But Oliver Cam, isn't that the, the problem that Michael Moore shines a light on here, that it is very hard to distinguish between good capitalism and bad capitalism until you're on the wrong side of it? Uh, I entirely agree. And uh, in the remarks on who is and who is not a good Catholic, I have to look on this look at this as an outsider. If there's one institution in the United States that I would not take moral instruction from, it is the Roman Catholic Church, the source and refuge of the most disgusting uh, abuses and child rapes. And Father Sirica's um, nice distinctions of who is entitled to speak for the Catholic Church and who is not are, 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 of, are of minimal interest to me. On the question of capitalism itself, I just think he's got the wrong target. He's got the wrong target. He's missed the parasitic role of finance upon the system of free exchange in the market economy that has, by bad business practices and by internalising risk without regard to what it does to the wider economy, has created immense hardship. And Michael Moore is right to point at those terrible cases of foreclosure of homes and individual hardship, but his methods of arguing are intellectually disreputable. I wondered, Father Sirico... I, I cannot let the uh, yes, gratuitous I, I, remark like about the Catholic Church go... Uh, well, go you started away. it, Father. No, I, I was, we're talking about a film who quotes religious leadership and doesn't actually engage the religious leadership. Sir, your, your remark was gratuitous and beyond the bounds of this conversation. If you'd like to have a, a detailed conversation about it, I'd be very happy to engage it. But what I'd like to come back to, and it is to do with the, the Catholic Church, is that surely, uh, although neither of you like the way he's done it, what he might be quite clever in this film by opening up this religious side to the argument and saying, instead of just saying, do you want capitalism or do you want something more left-wing? He's actually taking us back to those basic questions in the Bible. What, what do we make of this as moral beings? Is that not, Father Sirico, if you don't like the answer, but isn't it a good question? Well, I, I think it is a very good question, and it's one that, that uh, people who have uh, dealt with this subject in great depth, the uh, scholastic theologians who, in effect, invented the framework, the intellectual and moral framework that gives us economics, according to Joseph Schumpeter and other economists, the scholastics, and um, Adam Smith himself engages the question morally. So we don't need instruction from somebody the likes of uh, Michael Moore, whose Catholicism was heretofore unknown to uh, most people who, who knew his work. Oliver, we're all trying to work out what the correct retribution is for the financial crisis. You say he doesn't have the right targets, but is, isn't he kind of blundering towards some sort of solution in which you try to sieve out what has been really bad about capitalism and then you regulate what's left? No, he's um, looking at capitalism as a whole and coming up with the wrong answer. The financial system collapsed because there was a misunderstanding primarily on the political right that and people like Father Sirico who think that free markets untrammeled are essentially a public good. There's a misunderstanding that thought that if you deregulate the banks it's like deregulating airlines. The state should have nothing to do with it. And what the financial crisis shows is that John Maynard Keynes is the figure to turn to, that there can be such a thing as a cyclically unstable economy that the government needs to intervene in and prevent from doing great harm to ordinary people. Well, the banking crisis was created not by uh, people on the right, but by uh, people on the left oh, who that's invented... Nonsense. Well, well let Father do you Shereka want to engage the question or just call each case. other more names, sir? Well, no, let Father Rico let, let out his case and you come back uh, in. Freddie on Mac, minute. Fannie Mae, the over-regulation of the market that enabled people to engage in moral hazard, which is to say invest in things that were not reliable investments, the things that obscured the information that the market gives us in a, in a free exchange system, all of these things. And you can go on YouTube and see the congressional hearings going back under the Clinton administration. You know, let, let's, let's just perhaps uh, not have the pleasure this evening of, of revisiting everything that led, led up to the, the crash, Father, but how do we bring morality into the market now? We, we have to, if we're really going to do it, we have to form moral actors in the market. Mm. Uh, economics is human action, and human action uh, uh, comes from the uh, the values, the habits, the virtues of the actors. So that uh, without doing that, without having a, a moral actor, the market will exhibit all of the shortcomings and moral failures that human beings in their free acting will uh, instance precisely because that's what the market is. 
Oh, we can't have a perfect market, can we? Because people aren't perfect. That's right. There is massive market failure, which there was in this case. But I'm much more concerned about how to prevent it than I am in with, 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 with training moral beings. And the one way you don't do it is by ensuring that if banks ramp up their risk, internalise risk without taking account of the wider economy, they then don't pay for it. That's the way to make sure it happens again. Isn't there an irony here? I agree with that. Yes. Oh, goodness. I agree with you that agree. fully. That's I think the I was against the bailout. I think the banks should have to pay for that. But let us not think that bureaucrats and politicians are immaculately conceived, as though these regulators are going to be without sin or avarice. These are not angels either. Um, it's interesting, isn't it, that we, we, we argued here, or you argued together very fruitfully about uh, what's wrong with Michael Moore, but hasn't he really got what he wanted in that he has set off this debate um, in quite a fierce way about religion, morality and the market. And if he took his sort of size 12 boots and allowed Hayley to do it, nonetheless, Father Sirico, he has actually achieved what he wanted with this film. Well, uh, you wouldn't know it by the, the people I've spoken to, uh, none of whom have seen the film. The film had a very short run in the United States. I don't know what it's going to do in England once it premieres. But this debate has been going on uh, vibrantly since the 1980s, long before Michael Moore uh, entered the... And question. it's not going to stop now, Oliver? No, no I, I, I think the joke is on us as one of these left-wing Oxbridge pointy-head European sophisticates whom he's appealing to. Um, I look at the way that we've described the Americans as vulgar, obese, insular and ignorant. And we've taken to our hearts as our representative social critic, a man who embodies all of these qualities. Oliver Cam and Father Robert Sirico, thank you both.